Let's try this practice snack. It's gonna be targeting our psoas muscles. Just think of it this way. It's gonna be touching your lower body. So if you need your lower body touched, try this one. So we're gonna start on all fours and tabletop with our toes curled under just to wake up the feet. So let's start to find our chests, torsos in space with some barrel rolling. Just kind of scooping your navel up and down. Maybe you come into a cat cow. Just nice and easy. Good, now we're gonna take that right leg, start to wake it up. So as we reach the leg back, opening up the base of the foot, the sole of the foot, we can start to activate the right leg. If we just rock that heel back and forth, it helps us to engage those muscles. When you feel ready, ground through the hands, lift that leg up, just gently toning the belly through length. Take a nice inhale and then start to create this protractor leg. It's gonna to start to trace a line all the way forward and then all the way back, crossing the midline. And then if you're a tango dancer, you can woo, bend that knee in and then do another set. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, bringing it all the way around. And then this last one, inhale, we're gonna circle it all the way forward and then wah. How'd you do? We're gonna to try to step into a low lunge here. And just inchworm that leg so that you are experiencing your range of motion here, just testing it out. And now we're gonna ground through the feet without our fingers if possible, place them on the thighs, push yourself up. Good. Let's slide that heel back, create a nice 90 degree angle with that front leg, coming into some pelvic tilts here. Now, if you want to give that back leg a break, you can just rest it down. On an inhale, we're gonna tilt the pelvis forward. Sitting bones slide up towards the floating ribs. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, draw it upward. Pause, really grounding through the legs. And then if you want to test, you could push up, but we really wanna be active through the legs here. Once you're active through the legs, maintain that tilt. Inhale, bring the left leg, arm up pivoting the palm towards the back wall. Good. Start to wiggle your ring finger and then lengthen that ring finger up and over towards the right back corner of your mat and then soften something in your face, in your jaw and just receive the breath as you breathe, keeping the legs actively working and then slowly coming back to center. We're gonna scoop this leg back Coming onto all fours, finding our barrel roll just to release out of that. Oh yeah, let's extend through the left leg, rocking back and forth. Start to wake up and activate that leg. Inhale, lift, start to create your protractor. Draw a line all the way to the side, try to sink it with your breathing. Exhale, circle it all the way back. We're crossing the midline all the way and then bending the knee if you wish and then tracing our steps now we're trying to keep it at the same level but you know there might be some amnesia in our movements here so just note where it's difficult to feel your body in space we're just building awareness here and then we're going to scoop that over finding our way to a low lunge and creating some gentle pulses here just so that we can test our resistance into the floor here. So at any point, feel like you can bolt forward like you're in a runner's block. And you have the option to curl the toes for a bit, bring them out. Good, we're gonna, with no hands, push into the floor to come up. And then slide the heel back. Find your 90 degree angle. Inhale to get nice and long. Exhale, tilt. Inhale, exhale. Coming into your pelvic tilts, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale forward, pause, scoop the tail underneath you, lift your pelvic bone up, inhale, breathe that right arm up. Hmm. Start to wiggle your ring finger, inhale to get nice and long here, lengthening through the armpit, feel your shoulder Create more space and then exhale up and over towards the left back corner of your mat. 
soften something. Invite the hips to find neutral. Stay pressing through your leg as if you could test and stand up, but then soften something through the torso. Just allow that lateral flexion to just do its good work and then slowly release. Place your fingertips on the floor, coming into a child's pose. Heels together, knees together. Rest your forehead down, just creating a nest. And just receive. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed your practice snack. And you can start to roll your brow bone into the floor. If you feel like this is inspiring you to want to do more, then do the next snack. And maybe some days you'll get, instead of five or 10 minutes, maybe you'll do 15 or 20 minutes, maybe more.